Game off, 325 remaining fourth quarter. Knicks leading 97 to 82. Time for the MCS Cannon Game summary. And a good one for the Knicks. Knicks shooting 46%. Cavs much better shooting in the second half for the Knicks. Doing an excellent job on the boards against the much taller Cavs team. Fast break points for the second time in a row. Knicks strong in that department. And Allen Houston has tied his Nick career high with 32. His all-time career high, 38 with the Pistons. One of the interesting statistics tonight uh, against the Cavs, they're 14th in the league in shot blocking, which is pretty good out of 29 teams. Last night, they had eight blocks against Milwaukee. Rogowskis had five. They have none tonight. None tonight. Look at the free throws in the fourth quarter. Knicks 89% from the line for the game. Kemp spinning, and Dudley hurt himself as Kemp and Dudley locked arms. Dudley's picked up his fifth foul. So more free throws coming up for Kemp. Dudley holding that left wrist. See, he's locked up with Kemp. You can see the pain reflected by Dudley's reaction. It appears to be his left wrist. And Dudley has nine rebounds. And scored. Only took two shots to two shots tonight. You consider the job the Knicks have done without Charles Oakley tonight, giving his usual, particularly lately, outstanding job in many phases of the game. How uh, they've, uh, they've made up for his absence is tremendous. The nine rebounds from Dudley is big. They've had balanced rebounding. We mentioned eight for Johnson, eight for Houston, who has it stripped with a late whistle and a foul call on Sura. So more free throws coming up for Allen Houston. And fourth foul against Henderson. There you see everybody chipping in on the boards. We talk so much about balanced scoring, but there's balanced rebound. Well, you get 15 from Houston and Starks. Guards, that, that's, that's amazing. And it's just what the Knicks needed. Because you had to think coming in tonight, their fear was to be out-rebounded badly by the taller Cavaliers. Allen Houston has a new Nick career high, 34. Most he scored as a Knickerbocker. And he gives the Knicks a 15-point lead. And don't forget, Mike, the point we were talking about earlier, this will give the Knicks the season series against the Cavs. They only play three games. The Knicks will now have two in the win column in case there's a tie-break situation. Right. Henderson leads in Dudley with the block. Kent forces it up. Larry Johnson, his ninth rebound. And the Knicks have now taken control after a little scare. The Cavs, who trail by 20 in the third, fall within six with about seven minutes remaining. But the Knicks answered back. Childs finds Houston. And he was out of bounds. Well, at least they used 22 seconds. <laughs> 213 remaining. And a 15-point lead. Jeff Van Gundy asking about Joe Forte, the call there. Forte was the trail official, and they were wondering why he called an out-of-bound baseline play. But you can see it from out there. Kemp drives, and he's tripped up, and Dudley is fouled out of the game. Oh, Dudley doing a technical, too, with a very strong reaction to that call, saying, hey, he's grabbing my arm. Fourth time this season, Chris Dudley has fouled out. Fouls out with nine rebounds and See, one Kemp, block shot. Can't pass him tied up with that left arm. And then the knee from uh, Dudley drives Kemp to the floor. He has comical faces, doesn't he, Dudley? The, the faces he makes. And Dudley drew the technical with that very quick reaction. He's been taking quite a beating tonight, but he's been a plus for the Knicks. So he is done for the evening. Technical foul will be shot by Carl Thomas. With 1.59 remaining, Knicks still lead by 15. They get 14, and now Kemp will shoot two free throws. Dudley, another start in the middle. Kemp has had some big-time numbers, 26 points, 6 bo 16 boards, and 6 assists. 99-86, the lead at 13. 
Cavs are getting what they paid for with uh, Sean Kemp's effort tonight. 12-point lead, just under two minutes remaining in the fourth. Knicks trying to improve to 3-0 since the All-Star break. Against three teams battling in the Eastern Conference. Starks, three-pointer won't go. Henderson the rebound. That's also important, too, psychologically for the Knicks this game in that they are going out on a road trip to uh, Denver. Kemp left hand, flips it in. Beautiful ball from Sean Kemp. And he's got 30. Denver, Utah, and Portland coming up. 10-point lead. Under a minute and a half remaining. Starks spinning. Shot clock at seven. Houston wants to take Henderson. Couple of fakes, drives. Allen Houston adjusts. Does not get the roll. Ball tipped and Henderson has it. Cavs have not given up. They're down 10 with a little over a minute remaining. Henderson strip ball back to the bounds. Last touch by Childs, it appeared. So Cleveland will get it with 16 on the shot clock. Kemp stolen by Starks. Starks has made some big plays in the fourth quarter. Four on one break. Buck Williams will finish it off and a foul. A very unselfish Larry Johnson. A oh, big man respecting big man who's running the court. And the Knicks lead at 101-89 with 51 seconds left. Starks made the play, pushing the ball into Giles' hands. As Giles makes a decision, Larry Johnson to Buck Williams. Four on one break completed. And Buck Williams, despite the painful knee, playing 18 minutes tonight. Again without Charles Oakland. The fast break points now, John. 26 to 6 in favor of the Knicks. And I'll just about wrap this one up. And I'll put in nicely there. Bob Sura. One oh two ninety one. Knicks in control. Over a half minute remaining. Williams is shooting over Scott. We got a piece of it. Now will come the other way. Sura, an air ball on the three pointer. 17.6 remaining. One reminder, when you're having good times with good friends, drink responsibly because friends know when to say when. A reminder from your friends, Matt Budweiser. The Knicks friends here at the guard tonight watching another impressive game. Knicks blowing the game open in the third quarter for the second consecutive game. And again, they went up by 20 in the third. Cavs cut it then to six in the fourth, but the Knicks pulled away again. Final seconds. Chris Childs will dribble it out. Charlie Ward hit a three-pointer to start it, and the Knicks never trailed in this one. They led from start to finish, and the crowd appreciating the sold-out Madison Square Garden. And there's the buzzer, and the Knicks remain undefeated since the All-Star break, led by a Knicks career-high 34 points from Allen Houston. And the Knicks now 13 and 10 without Patrick Ewing. And they gather at center court after an impressive win in front of the 242nd consecutive sellout. Final score of the Knicks 102, the Cavs 91. Plenty more to come when we return. Stay up their record is 3 and 0 now since the All-Star break. Getting it done again without Patrick Ewing. 13 and 10 without the big man. But the big story tonight, of course, Allen Houston, 34 points, his career high as a New York Knickerbocker. 22 of those points coming in the third quarter. Houston was lighting it up. I was sitting there with Michael Kay, just wondering if he'd get to the 40-point mark tonight. If he had, it would have been an overall career high. He had 38 in one game as a Detroit Piston. More importantly, Allen Houston now, nine straight games as a New York Nick. He has topped the 20-point mark. So he and Larry Johnson doing yeoman work filling in uh, for the injured Patrick Ewing in the scoring column. He is our Marriott player of the game. New York Marriott Marquis Broadway's biggest hit. 34 points, as we said, 22 in the third quarter. And Allen Houston with a solid job. Let's go upstairs.